Hey, what's up guys? It's Knights Templar back here with Operation Final Countdown. This is uh, turn 8.4 and 8.5 of the Commonwealth and the Free French. Um, yeah, let's, I want to look around the board a little bit and see what's going on. So, the, uh, the mighty Japanese Empire have taken most of the Dutch East Indies. They got West Timor left and Maluku Islands to go, so... Uh, I'm sure they're going to take the rest of those next turn. Um, so uh, the good news is that the uh, the Netherlands have a recruitment roll of five. So that's nice. And I can uh, use the, I can get this uh, sub out of here and utilize the uh, three boats in um, the Atlantic. So yeah, um, FEC looking good in Calcutta and, and Bengal. Uh, just building up, building up. Have to defend. Uh, if we lose Calcutta and stuff like that, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty tough to come back. I mean, yeah, we can't lose that. So uh, the Soviets took rest of Mongolia. Japanese took Sea King. Pretty much finished off the KMT. Bruce, we've got two more militia there, my friend. We're hanging on by a thread. Um, Abyssinians and the Italians, uh, they are... Still mate at the moment. Um, the reason why there's n not an artillery here um, is because I'm lend leasing one, so I just took it off and um, made sure that uh, I, because I don't have another painted sculpt for it, but we do have a total of five, so it'd be a total of six there um, uh, this turn when I lend lease. So, um, we do have a combat move with the Abyssinians, though, so stay tuned for that. Um, the Spanish Civil War, it's been uh, going back and forth. Both guys are doing a good job. Um, this is the longest I've seen uh, the Spanish Civil War go on. Um, we're in, what, January of 1940. Uh, like I said, I've never seen it go this long before, and it doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, otherwise, the Italians moved their fleet out to 48. I don't know what they're doing with that. Probably just trying to scare me there. Um, I've seen this move before done by a certain somebody, so uh, I kind of have an idea of what they're going to do. Um, let's see. Oh, the Soviets took Lithuania. Got a buck there. Uh, Germans annexed uh, were aligned Bulgaria. Soviets are starting to try to build up down here in Transcaucasia. So, yeah, good all around. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to uh, our tech rolls. So we've got two tech rolls, wartime economy and radar. Let's see how uh, we're currently at stage three, so we can finish them this turn. So if we do, we do. If not, then we'll, like I said, we'll try again next turn and see what we can do. So, okay. We need sevens or higher to complete all of this. So both of them, here we go. Looks like a seven and a one. So I do complete radar. I do not complete wartime economy. So that's okay, as long, uh, radar is good. I really like the radar uh, completion. So uh, I am happy about that. So, okay. Let's go to purchases. All right, so for the, let's do the UK first. I had 36 to spend, but I got $3 knocked off from combo rating. Uh, we're gonna purchase um, an artillery for four, uh, two infantry for six, a fighter for 10. We're gonna buy a militia for two, upgrade a militia for two. We're gonna lend lease the free French and artillery, and we're gonna lend lease the Abyssinians and artillery. So that should be 33. Uh, the FEC, we are going to, um, we have 16 to spend. We're going to spend all 16. We're going to do a militia upgrade. We're going to buy five militia and then an artillery. So that should be a total of 16. And then for the Anzacs, I've got 10 to spend. I'm going to buy three militia and an artillery, and that should be for 10. So um, 
let's just go to our only combat move that we have, and that is here in um, France with this strategic bomber. We're gonna carpet bomb Alsace. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go one, two, three. So we get three dice at two or less. So that is literally our only combat. Let me just look around the board. Um, oh, if this is considered combat, I, I'd like to put this uh, medium bomber on maritime air patrol here in C-Zone 25 um, to do that. So yeah, uh, we actually have two. So yeah, other than that, I don't really see anything else. So let's go ahead and roll the three twos. Let's do some uh, let's do some orange dice for for the other ones. So uh, we need in the casualty order will be the two cavalry and I'm I'm sure I won't get three hits or even one hit. So um, we'll definitely see how many hits we get. So here we go. So we got nothing. We got a nine, eleven, and an eight. So no hits there. Okay. So that is our only combat move. There we go. And that's just gonna fly back to uh, London there. So, perfect. Okay. Um, Non-combat, let's just stay here and and uh, do some non-combat. So, the light cruiser from 24 will go We'll start here and we'll go one, two, and we'll join that little fleet there with the light carrier, the destroyer, and the uh, tactical bomber. Um, the um, ships, the, Nether the Netherlands ships, uh, the Dutch is gonna move this torpedo boat destroyer here. Um, these two ships are gonna, just gonna move one to this fleet here. I'll put it on the marker card later. So, oh, if you, oh shoot, if you guys can see that, the move there, right there. So, sorry about that. Um, anything else that I need to do over here? No, I, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, all right, over here, we are going to rail this artillery. We're gonna start from out South Africa Union, go through Belgian Congo, make our way all the way to Eastern Egypt. Over here in the FEC territory, we're gonna move the UK infantry from Bengal into Calcutta and the motorized from Bengal to Calcutta, I need to get a marker card for this. Starting to stack up there. Um, the uh, the transport here in 87 is gonna go one, two, three to this fleet here. So it's just gonna join them. Um, let's see. This white chip is an AA gun. I planned on buying one this turn, but um, I decided not to. So let me get the uh, sculpt out for that and I'll put it back. So sorry about that, guys. So that is actually a anti-aircraft gun. Okay. Um... Anything else that I would like to do? Let me just make sure I'm looking around the board here that I'm not missing anything. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think so, guys. I think that's what I'm supposed to do, so. Um, let's see, you know what? I'm gonna take a ship here 
from 83. I'm gonna take a, let's see. I'm gonna take a light, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, let's do this. Let's take a, a light cruiser from 83 and let's go one, two into 86. Yeah, that fleet will stay there. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think we should do that, so. Perfect. Okay, um, let's go to place units. Let's start with Anzac. So the uh, militia. Just come down there. Militia is going to go in New Guinea. The militia will go into New Zealand. Okay. The militia will go into Sydney. as well as the artillery. Okay. All right, uh, FEC. I'm gonna put a militia in Bengal. Okay. We're going to put three militia that we purchased into Calcutta. Okay. The artillery will also go in Calcutta. There's a lot of shit there. Oh my gosh, a train's coming. And then my infantry, or my militia upgraded my infantry, uh, or excuse me, my militia. The militia will be upgraded to a infantry, and then we're gonna place an infantry there in Southern India. least we've got um, the UK so I'm just gonna start down here we're gonna put a artillery here and South Africa Union here in Gibraltar. Yeah, if you guys can hear that train, I apologize. It it's not very far. It's on the other side of the road here, so it's ridiculous. Um, we're gonna place a militia, and then we're gonna upgrade one of those militia to an infantry. So, um, so it should be just two militia. Okay. Perfect. Okay. The two infantry and the fighter will go in London. So let me put that right there. Move this out of the way. So. Fighter will go in uh, London. Okay. And then we need to do Lend Lease. So the Free French Artillery and the Abyssinian Artillery will start from London. 
uh, make our way down here through the Strait of Gibraltar. Actually, we don't, yeah. Yeah, we'll Strait of Gibraltar, here to, um, to Syria here. So we can put that there. And then the artillery start in London, uh, make our way down. We have to go this way. So we go to, we start, we start in London, here to South Africa Union. We're gonna rail all the way to, oh, sorry, I'm not free French. We're gonna rail here to Abyssinia. Sorry about that, guys. So there we go. Boom, done. Okay, now we need to do collect income. All right. So, for the UK, I got 27 for territory. So, 25... 27 for territory. And then I've got, I get bonuses too, so let me get my book here. All right, give me one second. I'm just gonna get to the uh, bonuses. So I get plus three for possession of Suez Canal in Eastern Egypt. So that is 30. I get two for Iran being neutral. That would be, um, let's see, 30, 32. I need another 10. So that's 20, 25, 27 plus five is 32. And then, let's see. I'm not sure of anything else. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't believe anything else. So, actually, yep, so we just do, yeah, we're at 32 to spend for the UK, for the Anzac. Uh, we spend all 10, we collect seven. I don't think we get any bonuses because there's Japanese ships within two uh, sea zones. So let me just double check. I'm sorry, yeah, of Australia, yeah, there is, so I don't get the bonus. Um, FEC, I collect 14. So 14, and then bonuses. Aden and Eastern Egypt are allied possessed, so I get two more dollars, so I'll have 16. So seven for Anzac, uh, 32 for the UK, and 16 for uh, the FEC. So, okay. Now we need to do the recruitment role for the Netherlands, which I control five territories. So, Maluku Islands, West Timor, um, Suriname, uh, Lesser Antilles, and the Netherlands. So if we get our recruitment role, then um, we will Probably put an infantry into Saranon. So here we go. Let me uh, get my dice straight. All right. And I think we do collect some money too, if I'm not mistaken. Saranon's worth one. Was Timor's worth two? So I think we collect two for actually two. What four for the Netherlands? I think. If that's wrong, let me know. I think it's four. So um, here we go for the recruitment roll. That's a five, so that's a success. So we're gonna put an infantry into Suriname. All 
right. So Suriname gets an infantry. Again, guys, I am sorry for that train. That is brutal. Um, but I think we collect four. Yeah, one for Suriname, two for the Netherlands, and then one for West Timor. So yeah, I think we collect four, guys. Like I said, if I'm wrong, let me know, please. I don't have a, uh, a coaster, so I'm just gonna do this. Netherlands will collect four, which will probably be taken anyway next turn, so. All right, so that's pretty much it for the Commonwealth turn. Now for the Free French, there's not really much we can do. Uh, we got a combat move, two combat moves actually, uh, with the Abyssinians and the Free French. So, um, no tech rolls. We got two dollars to spend. We're gonna save the two dollars. So, and we're not gonna take any territory that are worth anything. So, we're just gonna collect four, and yeah, we'll have four to spend next turn. Um, but we'll do the combat moves real quick that I need to do. Um, first, let's do the Free French. If you guys can see that. Uh, here in 53, we've got a two transports, a sub, and a um, heavy cruiser. We are going to uh, take uh, this transport, we're gonna take an infantry and we're gonna go um, one, two, into 83, and we are going to take French Somaliland. So, that will go to the Free French. So that's our only combat move for the Free French. So I'll just put it on this uh, task marker here with them. Um, so we've got that. And then um, do we want to move anything else? Hmm. Let's move this torpedo boat destroyer to 51. And then, and let's move this sub here to 80. I think that should do it. Um, yeah, I think that should do it. Let me, uh, let me put this down here real quick. Actually, no, we got one more combat to do. Sorry, I almost forgot. The uh, two fighters, I only need one, uh, but the Abyssinians are gonna attack this uh, transport, Italian transport. They're just gonna move one to Eritrea, two to uh, C-Zone 82, take out the transports. Now we can go to non-combat. Okay. Two planes will go back to, so we'll go one, two, three, four, back to Abyssinia. The sub's gonna go up one to 80. The torpedo boat destroyer's gonna go up one to 51. Leave that fleet there. We've got two artillery sitting here. Um, Yeah, other than that, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing we have to do now is the recruitment role for uh, Abyssinia. Uh, so we need a one. Let's see if we can get a one. So here we go. We're gonna use the orange dice. That's a 10. Oh, look at that. One right there. Oh. 
All right, since I already collected, we collect four um, for the free French. Let's do a disposition of forces real quick. Um, let's start in Abyssinia. So it was actually four artillery, not five. Sorry, guys. So there's going to be five artillery, five infantry, two militia, a mountain, an AA, and two fighters. So that's what we've got there. Here in French Somaliland, we've got a free French infantry. Here in C-Zone 53, which is this uh, marker card here, we've got a heavy cruiser, a sub, and a transport. Syria, we've got two artillery. Um, over here in New Zealand, we, we have two militia now. In Sydney, we've got an artillery, three militia, and three infantry. Um, here in Dutch New Guinea, we have a militia now. Um, C zone 86, we've got a light cruiser. Uh, C zone 122, we've got a torpedo boat destroyer. C zone 88, we've got two subs and a uh, coastal sub. Um, here in Bengal, we've got three infantry, four Gurkhas, and one militia. In southern India, we've got an infantry and a militia. In Calcutta, we've got eight FEC infantry, um, three FEC militia, one FEC artillery, one FEC anti-aircraft gun. We've got one um, Anzac infantry, one Anzac artillery, one Anzac uh, motorized, if you guys can see it right there, and then one UK infantry. So that pretty much takes care of it over here. Here in Eastern Egypt, we've got four infantry, one colonial, no, I'm sorry, five infantry, one colonial, one militia, and one artillery. Uh, down here in South African Union, we've got a militia and an artillery. Um, this fleet here, um, it stays the same. The only thing that I added to it was a Free French transport and a um, Anzac transport. That's the only thing that I added. So you guys can just uh, add those to it. So, and then in 51, torpedo boat destroyer, and 80, a uh, sub. And let's see here. Uh, the only thing that changed here in C Zone 22 was I added a light cruiser with a destroyer, light carrier with a, a tactical bomber. Here in 24, which I will go ahead and take these to this marker card. We've got two transports, a two heavy cruisers, a coastal defense ship, a battleship, uh, a Dutch coastal defense ship, and a Dutch destroyer. Here in 25, we've got a medium bomber on, on map, a torpedo boat destroyer in 25, as well as a torpedo boat destroyer in C-Zone 11. Um, here in London, we've got a fighter, a strategic bomber, three militia, two Marines, and two infantry. And if you guys can't see that, an AA gun. So that's what we've got there. Other than that, guys, yeah. Um, pretty easy turn. Let me know about the Netherlands collecting $4. <laughs> But like I said, it's not probably not going to last anyway, even if it's true. But however, we got the little uh, Dutch infantry right there. So, um, yeah, other than that, guys, um, we'll kick it off to uh, Crooked Leg for his Italian turn. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what he does. Um, other than that, guys, yeah, everyone's doing great. I'm having a good time. Uh, I know that uh, V4 uh, pre-order is going to be a week to two weeks from now um, from what the Discord said on Board Gaming Bros Discord channel. So, yeah, otherwise, you guys stay safe. Um, have a good evening, and we'll see you guys next time for turn 9.4 and 9.5 for the Commonwealth and the Free French. Thanks.